really nice bag. First cast. Yeah, in the first cast with uh, this little mangler squiddy here. So uh, they just stocked this lake about three or four years ago, and they opened it up to fishing about like a month ago. Not even a month ago, like two or three weeks ago. Alex has caught a couple smaller ones too, but we decided not to take a video. Yeah, I've caught like two or three other smaller ones. Alright, that's it. Hey guys, it's the Ohio Fisherman again. Uh, I got a decent bass on this mangler again, the original. Just casting straight out these fish. Are, this is like probably one or two casts later, so. Just to show you how effective it is, let me just get this hook out and I can show you it. Right inside the lip, too. Perfect hook. Decent fish, so. Damn, dude. Cut my finger up. <laughs> got one. You got one, guys. That's a nice one. I was just about to set up a rig here, and Alex doesn't want me to, I guess, because he keeps on catching fish. Yeah, you just watch me reel, reel the fish. Don't bite me like the other one did. Right when I hit the water, pretty much just. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, we're gonna stop it now. Oh, don't. Why? Pretty nice. 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 Got them for three dollars at a flea market. Pretty good deal. Oh yeah. Everybody's been yelling at Alex for. <laughs> Better not yell at me for that either, because you guys do that too. There's a decent one. So. Yeah, probably fifteen. No, fourteen maybe. Pretty fat though. Going. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he lost no. it. Did you get the oh, well. video? I think so, yeah. Finger in the way? No. Alright, hey guys. Got a nice chunky bass on the original mangler. So, yeah. Hit probably like three tanks of rain. Hey guys, it's Sammy here from the Ohio Fisherman. Just got this mm, 13 maybe. 13 inch bass. 14. I'm going to show you something that you can do with any of the mangler spinner baits that you can't do with any other one. And that is, uh, I call it pumping. And I'll, you'll see why in a second. So, what you do is, is cast it out there. Most of his fish. He got all of his creek fish like that too. This is how I caught him in the creek too. It's pumping. Take one by that stick and then one. That stick. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just poking out. Weasel one out. Really didn't cast on the other side of the stick. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold out and windy, so. Not the best day for bass 
Sorry, I just burped. That was a good cast. I had more luck just reeling it in. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it, so. Hey guys, see how I'm a fisherman? Here's a nice, really nice bass. Probably around 15 inches, maybe 16. But he was pretty much just literally right there on the rock. I was about to take my lure out of the water and I felt something huge smack it. And it was this guy, so. Yeah. This turned out to be a great trip, and uh, we have another, what, three hours till we have to go home, and there's the lure. The original man. You guys see all fishermen. I got this football right here, <laughs> this big bass. Definitely spawning. I mean, you could just tell. Look at that belly. Got, him, got her on the original mangler, and I've probably had five fish in the last five casts. But I've lost a lot of them. All right, let, let's show them the color here. All right, and then I'm going to show you just me casting and catching another one. All right, so pretty much what I'm doing, keep the video going. Yep. <laughs> another funny thing that ha just happened to me is I was, uh, all right, so I hooked a pretty nice sized bass on this. And the hook came out. And then I was, oh, oh, I just missed another one. But, yeah, the hook came out. So, when I, like, my, my line wrap around the reel like it just the rod like it just did and while i was trying to unwrap it another fish came and hit it before i even reeled it in so i had two nice fish on on, two, on one cast i'm gonna try to get one on the video for you guys this might be the first cast i had here oh no that was a hit i saw that there he is. oh yeah that's a nice one He hit it, missed it, and then took it again. So these are probably the best spinner bait ever made. I'm gonna go out of the limit and say that. Yeah, we got ourselves a nice bait. <laughs> That's just crazy. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> think I can go three for three? I, I don't think so. Let's try it. I'll take ow, one more cast after this guy. What? Yeah, here's a very decent bass. We hated fishing this pond, and then they, what they did was they wanted to get the carp out. Yeah, I, this this so, place was overpopulated with the common carp, so about four years ago they drained it completely, and then uh, they filled it back up and stocked it with bass. So these these fish have been untouched for three years. So. All right, let's get one more, one more cast. One more cast. And then you can fish all you want, Sammy. Okay. Ah, uh, it's probably too far away from shore. Where's that one? There's a hit. I saw the line go sideways. Okay, maybe one more. No. I just want to... Oh. Sure. I'm stopping it after this. Right. Even if you get another one. Right. God, I love this thing right now. There he is, a little one. Dinky. Dink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this lure, dude. But yeah, we're just showing you that Mangler kicks butt. Alright, we're... I'm gonna end the video now. Dang. There you go. Okay, nice bass. This guy snagged pretty deep. Yeah, he really wanted it. Got it. Alright, he's safe. Not bleeding or anything, so. Pretty nice bass. Oh, yeah, yeah he's he bleeding. Okay. Throw him back. I'm gonna put him back. Sorry. Sorry, bud. You want to lose what you got? It's got this alright bass on the uh, skinny mangler. I'm not, wait, can you see? Wait, yeah, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna throw him back. Dink. Dink, right there.
guys, she's a nice 14, maybe 13 incher. Throwing them back. All right. Going? Yep. All right, I got this uh, pretty decent sized bass. On my mangler. Sammy just got his out of a tree. I mean, I was sick. I thought it was gone for sure, but then I got it back. Yeah, because he's lucky. This, this is honestly the luckiest lure I've ever used. There was a time when I had it stuck in a tree, and it was wrapped around like eight times, and my line snapped. But when the line snapped, it all came on, and this was just hanging by the hook on the tree. So all I do is, come on, put my rod tip on the on the hook and get it out. And another time, I got stuck in another tree, and that came out. And all that was left was the line, so I got it back again. So yeah, there's a nice bass. <laughs> Sorry about my story, but yeah, this is a lucky lure. And it's good. I'd rather be lucky than good any day. Guys, here's a really big bass on the mangler. It's a hog, it's a football. So. I mean, this one's a different color than the other ones that we caught. Cause here there's lily pads right there, so. Nice bass, he's really thick. Got him on the Mangler, Mangler uh, original already. I mean, again, so that was, yeah. Go. Hey guys, Alex from the OHIO Fisherman, Ohio Fisherman. I caught this pretty decent sized bass on my original Mangler. Uh, yeah, the lure's pretty stuck in there, so let's see if I can't do some stuff. Notice how the hook is right in the side of the lip. Yep, and I set the hook right away. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so can I end it now? No. Fine, yeah. do that way. Oh, I got him in the bone, yeah, and that's the hot fish. My fish, Sammy's fish. Mango lures. Alex is using the original with a vinyl cover. I'm using the Squiddy, the smallest size. And I'm rocking it, and he's rocking it. Not really, actually. Just kidding. Mm. Actually, doing good. Hey guys, here's what I just did. Bass isn't very big, I'll give him that. But right now, it's the rig that counts. This is our homemade umbrella rig. Got a uh, rig with mangler jig heads. And uh, what you can see is what's different from our video. I put a little spinner on it. Uh, willow spinner blade on there. Just caught this first cast that I was using it and I caught this guy, so 